Hello, today we're going to do something just a little bit different. We're going to do our first book review. Now, a book review is something I normally wouldn't do because in the Linux world, when you buy a book that's Linux related, it's out of date about two weeks later. And though I hate to admit it, this book probably will be outdated very soon as well. This is the Arch Linux Handbook version 2.0. Now, approximately a year ago, October of 2009, Arch Linux Handbook version 1.0 was released. Exactly one year later, in October of 2010, the 2.0 Handbook was released as well. Now, as you guys should know at this point, I am an Arch Linux user, so of course this was a natural buy for me. Now, from everything I read about it before making the purchase, it seemed like it was just going to be the Arch Linux Beginner's Guide wrapped up in a little cover. And I have to say, that's pretty much exactly what it is. For those of you that are not familiar with the Arch Linux Beginner's Guide, I'll have a link to it in the source code below so you can check that out. Now that's not to say it's entirely a bad thing. Yes, the Arch Linux CD comes with an installation guide built into it. And yes, you can always have a copy of it pulled up in a web browser if you've got a second machine available. But on those rare occasions that you don't feel like viewing it in a terminal or you don't feel like having a second system, for example, if I take my laptop to my in-laws and I want to do an installation, a book like this is actually kind of handy. In addition, if you don't want to print out a physical copy of the book, which would probably be a hundred and some pages, this is another way to get that very quickly. But basically, that's about all there is to the book. I do have one major criticism about it, though, and I think that's a criticism for the editor of the book. Now you should be able to see that on the very first pages, every single page that there is a link from the wiki, there are links in the book. Now I don't have any real concrete suggestions for how that should have been fixed, but you know, I opened the book and my first instinct was, oh look, there's a link in the book, let me click that link. I can't click that link. Perhaps the links could have been removed and replaced with something else, something like search the wiki for this, or go to this URL, because at least you'd have something you could type in at that point and not just blank text with a line under it that makes you think you can click on something. But that's really about all I've got to say about the Arch Linux handbook. If you want a printed copy of the handbook of the beginner's guide from the wiki, and you don't want to use your paper and your toner, or you want to have something with a semi-decent looking little binding on it and a couple of little reminders on the back of different pac commands and things like that. Or if you just want to support the Arch Linux project, you can definitely pick this up from Amazon.com. It was right at about $13 with tax for me. And given that it was $13, if you don't have an Amazon Prime account, it will be a little bit more expensive. For me, this will be a little bit handy just for having on the road to review and stuff when I'm not at a computer. But what do you think of it? Let me know in the comment section below. Have you heard of it before? Are you interested in purchasing it? I do foresee a lot of comments saying, why not just go to the wiki or why not just print out the pages that you need? For me, I wanted to support Arch, and I wanted an actual copy of it, so I bought it. But that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.